Kids are amazed by the most adults don't even know what they're made of, but today we're going to find out. Karen Rubin from the Amelia Park Children's Museum, she is here and she's going to show us the science behind bubbles. Yes, bubbles. Bubbles are fun, they're great. But what are they made of? So bubbles are made typically of soap and water. That's easy. It is easy, but the problem is a lot of our dish soaps have changed over the years, and most of them are very strong. They're beautiful colors. They might have scents, and they also have a lot of degreaser in them, so they don't make very That's good bubbles. That's going to eliminate the bubbles. Exactly. So you want to find a... Oh. Oh. Taking my pipe. It's sticky. That's what happens. A um, detergent that's kind of natural that just doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it. Um, There's few the, ingredients as you can find. That's exactly. the way to go. Exactly. Now I use a, a, you know, a bubble powder. So you have a large bubble over there. So I do because I would like when we do our bubble shows Whoa. and our bubble birthdays, we want the kids to see through the bubble. We want them to notice. Oh, that's pretty those cool. Those beautiful you colors have to do that again. on the outside. You know, these are super strong bubbles. What makes all this translucence in color? Is there uh, something behind that? Um, just a clear powder. Clear I powder, understand. clear liquid. Now, you were okay. saying if you use a yellow soap, when you're making your bubble, you don't then see all the colors of the rainbow. Exactly. You're going to mask the yellow, and you might mask the green a little bit because the yellow and blue make green. So you want to get a nice, clear bubble solution. This one has a lot of glycerin in it, which is making it flow. See how it keeps going oh, and going. This is amazing. And going. And we do these for birthday parties at the museum. It's I've never made bubbles like this popular. before. Now, we also have our little cups. How is this so much better than those bubble kits that you buy? Oh, this is 10 times better this than a bubble kit. This beats the heck kit. out of those. Now, look, let's say you don't have any wands at home, but everybody has some cups mm -hmm. lying around. This all we. Oh. Oh, this is cool. You can go outside. You don't need those kits anymore. Just no. get cups, get one of these things. You can even use two straws and a string. Two straws and Now, this and a is string? a rectangle, but it makes a circle. So, do you know why bubbles are round, Seth? Oh, no. That's why you're here. Well, there's air that is trapped inside mm -hmm. the bubble solution. Even my paper towels. <laughs> it gets a little messy and if you're going to do this at home with your kids. <laughs> yeah, go outside. Do it outside. Yeah, exactly. So the air spreads out in all directions, creating a sphere. Oh, so it's kind of expanding into the max. Exactly. So it's filling that film. Now, and Karen, that's why they're circles. I mean, I have a question for you. Wands like this are fun, but you're always going to get a circle. If I'm trying to bounce that, it'll immediately pop. Why does it yeah. immediately pop when my hand touches it? Because one, you've broke the surface tension with the water, but two, the purpose of soap is to clean grease and oils. We have grease and oils on our skin, so that's a good question. So, so to alleviate this, use we're going to try these dollar winter gloves that everybody has yeah. at home, guaranteed. You only need one because you're going to use. I might. You do it with two hands. Okay, you want to try. <laughs> so I've made the super saturated bubble solution. Okay. And we're so by super see... saturated, what do you mean? So I've added some dish soap, water, and some regular table sugar. So these are some of the optional things that you can use exactly. to increase your bubbles. Now, what's the table sugar do? The table sugar acts as a barrier. It, it creates um, less evaporation from the water. So you're making a very thick solution, similar to this. This has glycerin in it. Glycerin, you have to drive to a pharmacy. Costs you know three or four dollars for a very small container where most people have either corn syrup or sugar in their pantry. So in other words, and in layman's terms, when you put extra sugar or glycerin, it makes the bubble harder to pop. Exactly, it makes it's a, a thicker, thicker film. I understand. So okay. let's see if my homemade brew you can bounce on your glove. <gasps> so, lay it on me, Karen. So let me drop it on. <gasps> Now, with something like this, you're going to want to make it at least 24 hours in advance. And so that you how do you store it? You put it in the fridge, freezer? No, Tupperware, plastic bag, any kind of container. Make sure if you use a container, it's a nice, clean container. See, that's just regular bubble solution. Because this doesn't have the glycerin in it. Or the sugar. This or one sugar. has sugar. This is so cool. And you can do this at the Science Museum. I can infer. Yes. And coming up... You have a countdown to kindergarten. Tell us about that. So countdown to kindergarten, it's our first one. We are um, working with Boston Children's Museum and Race to the Top to create a fun evening where parents can learn 
what to expect when their child goes to kindergarten for the first time. So we will have a story walk, we will have uh, healthy snacks, and we will have some great activities that kids might be doing in their kindergarten class, counting, sorting, some science experiments. Um, and being able to turn kids onto science at a young age is, I, I think, imperative because it, it's so important that we groom a next generation of scientists, especially female scientists too, because exactly. those numbers are dwindling. And I found this when I go to science museums. When you read a textbook, science textbook, I used to hate it. But going and seeing it come alive and seeing how this works exactly. makes people passionate about science and it's so exactly. important. Exactly. And if you can get um, children early on, especially girls before the age of nine, they are more likely to go into a science related field. Really? And you can also make bubble prints by adding bubble some prints? food coloring and using some plain paper. Here, I'll give you a straw. And I think it goes without saying, too, if you have a career in the science field, you make a good amount of cash, too. But you also have a lot of fun because you know what? It's never dull and it's never boring. And there's always things. And then I trap it on top. Bubble art. Yeah. Okay, and and this we is fun. do this at the museum. The kids make cards for Mother's Day, Father's Day, postcards. Look at this. And they can just take it and put them on. It, you're right, postcards, is that what yeah. you said? Exactly. What a Remember good idea. those? Yeah. Remember postcards? <laughs> what an ancient art. <laughs> Karen. Thank you so much. Once again, let's recap about um, the kindergarten event coming up. Yes, August 23rd from 5 to 7. It starts off with a story walk outside, and then you get to go and have a nice, healthy snack in the picnic area. Then we will open up the museum and have some fun activities that you will get to learn about in kindergarten. Shall we bounce it? All right, let it go. Oh, let it go. There we go. Oh. Ah, next time. Too up big. next on